Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading for August 2023. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our community, our collective. All right. For the monthlies, we pull three cards for general overall energy, three cards for career and finances, and three cards for love and romance. Not necessarily in that direction. We always start with career and finances at the top. All right. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on. We have Venus retrograde, Mercury stationing retrograde towards the middle of the month Saturn retrograde in your sign prayers prayers sorrow sorrows I am with you my sisters and brothers my fellow Pisces peoples it's been a it's been a it's been a okay and uh then I think we've got other planets that are also stationing retrograde there's a lot going on in the cosmos August is just going to be this month of like great blessings but also a lot of realignment okay take a look and see what's going on here. Um, you got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers when it comes to your career and your finances. So a lot of, you're doing a lot of work here. You're, you're healing a lot of financial wounds, a lot of financial difficulty or obstacles. Now, having said that, you are going to have to put in the work. You are going to have to be disciplined. You are going to have to be structured. You are going to have to focus. You are going to have to do the the hard stuff this month and Saturn is in your sign and it's retrograde so it's, yeah basically <laughs> basically discipline structure routine it's there babe it's there you're gonna have to do it all to make it happen you got the eight of wands the four of pentacles and the five of cups as your general overall theme I think you're realizing here that it's time to like go of like this victim mindset which is really easy for Pisces people to get into I'm a Pisces moon and rising I know this too well you know it's really easy to give your power away but i think with the aquarius full moon that happened in the beginning of the month you really started to recognize and see where you were giving your power away and that it's just simply not serving you for your highest good anymore now when it comes to love and romance you got the chariot the hierophant and what else you got <gasps> the empress yes <gasps> I love this for you. Okay, let me get the rest of the cards and we'll dive in. We'll do love at the very end though, okay? You've got one, two... Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four. You got four major arcana in your reading for this month. So this month is going to be very pivotal. It's going to usher in a lot of change, a lot of revelations, a lot of understanding of the direction that you need to take. You got Void, of course, is the astrology card. It says pause in time, limbo, change of plans. I think there's a lot of re-evaluating, reassessing of your values this month. And it makes sense, Venus is retrograde. You're going to be focusing a lot on like maybe where you self-sabotage, maybe where you don't have the best relationship, the best patterns, the best mindset around your career your finances your love life etc there's a lot of decisions that you need to make around your career and your finances that eight of pentacles ten of pentacles and the lovers yeah your career and finances are most definitely going to be beautiful i love this are most definitely going to be at the forefront you got the serious amulet and on August 8th, we have the Sirius portal, the Lionsgate portal. And this amulet is literally designed as a form of protection, but also to usher in, you know, happiness, health, success, wealth, etc. Okay, that's what it looks like here. Look how beautiful this is. This is one of my favorite pieces that I designed. It's got pink opal, amazonite, moonstone, blue lace agate, pearls, appetite, and the all-seeing eye, all right? And if you want to pick up this piece, take a look at the description box below. It's called Sirius. And if not, if you have those crystals, wear them, meditate with them, put them on your altar for this month, okay? Where's my... Um my mantra cards. The uh, oracle card you got says inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Most definitely... <laughs> Ah, I'm so happy for you. This is so incredible. Abundance. Yes, yes, yes. Like, what did I say to you? Okay, this is going to be a month of a lot of hard work, but also a lot of celebration. Like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is, there's so much excitement to be had here. Okay, so high five to you. 
<laughs> abundance. I'm going to read the mantra for you. Repeat this flipping mantra every damn day. I'm literally going to write it down and put it on my mirror. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. What do you want to desire, Pisces? What do you desire? What do you want to manifest? Bring it in. Call it in. It's yours. Okay. That's how incredibly potent you are this month. Yes, you're reassessing. Yes, you're reevaluating, but you're also realizing that being the energy of four of pentacles and five of cups is just not serving you anymore. Also, these are all minor arcana. This is going to be quick themes of like recognition of your self-worth, of where you invalidate yourself, where you hinder yourself, where you're out of alignment, where you need to do the work, where your shadow aspects still exist that are like holding you back, okay? The shadow self is the most powerful side of ourselves, but it's also the most repressed side of ourselves. It's what we deny ourselves because we feel like it's not good enough, but it's also where our gifts and our beauty and our individuality and our uniqueness, uniqueness lie. And you're recognizing and realizing all these things this month. It's a very, very powerful month and Raven just walked into the office. Hello, Meow, are you coming up here? I am so excited for you. This Ten of Pentacles, this lovers, again, like I said, you're going to have to do the work, okay? But it's going to give you a lot of rewards, a lot of success. Now, let's dive into your love reading. Now, with the fact that you got four major arcana, like I said, there is a lot of pivotal change here. And if you've been wanting to learn about tarot, go take a look at the description box below. I've launched my tarot course. You can either do the full certification, take individual courses, or you can join me for an intensive. Uh, all the options are in the description box below. Ditto if you want to book a session with me, okay? Or pick up your amulet. Let's get into this love reading here. Children, romantic feelings. Raven, what are you doing? Raven loves to go into my garbage basket and hang out there. Oh, beautiful. You are so in control. You're wow. Okay. The this month for your love reading. He, you're realizing what you need to purge, dump, release so you can call in new love. You are so magnetic, can attract whatever you desire. There are so many people who are pining for you, who desire you, who want you, but you have learning to do still. You are healing still. You are shifting and changing your mindset around love. I think that an ex, where'd you go? Oh, she's by my feet. I think that an ex really hurt you. Hey, come here. Um, you want to come on the table? You want to come say hi to Pisces? You haven't shown up in readings in a long time. People miss you. They don't want you? Okay. Oh, Willow's like, why can't I come? Because you're 85 pounds, Willow. That's why. Okay, let's pull out a card for children. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been single for a really long time, Pisces. And I think that what you're doing now is getting your ducks in order so that once Venus stations direct... The love can enter, page of wands, yes. I would just stay in the frequency of the type of partner that you desire. Are they a provider? Are they caring? Are they loving? Are they respectful? Like, what does your romantic life look like with them? Six of cups, release your ex, yeah. Your ex really did a number on your self-confidence, on your self-worth, on your values, on like who you are as a person. But listen, that was the past. And yes, they will get their karma, but it's not your job to dish it out. It's your job to move on so that you can attract this high vibrational love. I'm going to put this video here to help you out with all of this because baby, like I said, manifest your dreams this month. They will come to fruition. You will have to put in the work, but the universe is conspiring to work in your favor. You are like chosen ones literally this month. All right, Pisces, if you want to work with me in any capacity, take my courses, book a session with me, your amulet, whatever. All the details are in the description box below. We will see you later, alligator. Sorry, I'm just petting Raven. She's under the table. All right, we'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.